Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today you are joining me on a brand new episode for the Awkward Space series. The Awkward Space series is all about finding solutions to those awkward details in your home. We're talking about open concept plans, no entryways, maybe really weird niches, cutouts, and ledges that you have in your home. Today's episode is all about low ceilings. For those living in the States, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's eight foot ceilings, 96 inches, which is about 245 centimeters for those using the metric system. If you're dealing with a home with awkward low ceilings, this video is for you. Before we get into today's episode, I would like to thank Wayfair for sponsoring today's video. You might be familiar with Wayfair from their website, but did you know that Wayfair also has a really awesome YouTube channel dedicated to everything in design? There's a new series on their channel called The Slow Build, and it's a brilliant show that's inspired by ASMR and slow television so the viewer can sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Watch as the expert builds an entire room over the course of the episode featuring tons of great Wayfair furniture. There's no host, no talking. It's all about the furniture, the tools, the hands, and sounds, which is perfect for a nursing mom like me who often watches content on super low volume or without any sound at all. Go check out the full episode of The Slow Build on Wayfair's YouTube channel now, and make sure you subscribe to their channel so you don't miss any of their latest episodes. I've included a link in the description box. You won't regret it. Now back to our video. Remember that awkward spaces are really subjective. What you might consider awkward, I find an absolute design challenge that you really can benefit from. You have to get creative, think outside the box, and implement a few designer tricks so you control what the viewer sees. Without further ado, let's get into my top designer tips to make low ceilings seem taller. Tip number one is to install crown molding. Now, why would you install crown molding and how does this visually make a low ceiling seem taller? All crown molding comes with a specific depth to it. So when you install crown molding on the ceiling, you're actually expanding that ceiling height by a few inches and that is the depth of the crown molding. Now here's how you address the illusion. You would paint your base molding, the wall color, and the crown molding all the same color. Doing this will visually extend the height of the wall, making it look taller than it actually is. Another trick you could do is paint that crown molding and the ceiling the same color. The goal is to create a larger body of color so it doesn't break up that expanse of space. Unlike contrasting crown and base molding, which staggers the room and causes linear line breaks. From these examples, you can definitely see how crown and base molding have so much visual impact in a space. Painting them all the same color as the walls, or all the same color of the ceiling will help create that visual expanse of space. The next tip is to think vertically. You want to use up all that vertical wall space to help expand the eyes up. You want to implement tall bookcases whenever you can and design up. You can also add to the illusion of a taller space by using vertical stripes. Think vertical shiplap, vertical panel molding, or even vertically striped wallpaper or paint techniques that can help draw the eyes up. Just think of an outfit that has vertical stripes on it. Stripes always make you look taller, makes you look thinner, and it's the same for an interior space. You can also expand the height of an awkward low ceiling by implementing ceiling tricks. Never neglect the fifth wall in design. This is your opportunity to really make that ceiling shine. You can apply a ceiling design with texture, wallpaper, plaster or paint, or even a cool grid or pattern design. 
Anything that helps draw the eyes up and away from the floors will make the space seem taller and higher. The next tip is all about lighting. You have an eight foot space that's only 96 inches for you to play with lighting and big chandeliers and low hanging pendants are just not gonna cut it. In this case, you can start with recessed can lights that are affixed inside the ceiling. So of course they don't take up any visual weight at all. Next is to consider flush mounts or semi-flush mounts that get attached to the underside of the ceiling. You want to look for really low fixtures that are about 12 inches to 15 inches in height. If you place a fixture over a dining table or a coffee table, you have a little bit more flexibility with how tall the fixture actually is since you're not walking underneath it. You can also add ambient lighting with wall sconces. They're installed directly on the walls, don't take up any visual height at all, and they add a really beautiful ambient glow around the room. My next tip is to source low furniture. We're talking about low loungy furniture, low backs, low arms, or in some cases, armless chairs work really well for a room with low ceilings. You also want to measure your space and see if you can fit in a petite sectional with a chaise lounge option. A chaise lounge typically doesn't have a back or a side to it, so you can access it from any side of the room. If you're in the bedroom and the ceilings feel quite low, try a platform bed. A platform bed is lower to the ground, it doesn't have a box spring that would add unnecessary height, and it sits on wood slats. The benefit of this is that there's more wall space to visually carry your eyes up and through the space. My next tip, and one that you've heard on this channel many, many times, is to hang your drapery up high. The best way to do this is to hang your rod at ceiling height, or better yet, directly on the ceiling itself. You can use a transom rod or a concealed track that hangs from the ceiling to install this type of design. I love this look because floor to ceiling drapery will also expand the visual height of the room. And finally, my last tip is to paint all your walls dark. You might be thinking, dark walls, a cavernous space, how does that make my ceilings appear higher? The trick to dark walls is to specify and source all light furniture. Light furniture will contrast within the space, therefore bouncing off of the walls and making the walls and ceiling actually recede. With dark walls comes a colored ceiling. Does the ceiling have to be as dark as the walls? It does not, but that doesn't mean that you paint the ceiling white. Use my tried and true paint hack to determine what color of the ceiling you should paint it. I always look to the paint deck of the color that I'm going for, so in this case, if I'm choosing a dark color, which is the lowest color on that paint deck, you want to look at the paint deck and go two shades higher than the darkest color that you've selected. This will allow the space to feel very cohesive and intentional with the color palette. That's it for today's episode on low ceilings in the Awkward Space series. What did you think of my list? I actually live in a mid-century ranch style home and the lowest portion of my ceilings is only eight feet high. I know that sounds really low. I'm actually in that space now, but with vaulted ceilings, it goes all the way up to 14 feet at the highest point. So a lot of these designer tricks I've actually implemented myself with much success in my home. When guests visit my home, they don't think that the ceilings are low, that everything looks cluttered and claustrophobic. It's because I implemented key designer tricks to make the space feel even larger than it really is. 
If you're loving this episode and you want more from the Awkward Space series, definitely check out my playlist. I'll link it below. We have so much Awkward Space content from designing a room with a corner fireplace to a long and narrow room to short, chunky L-shaped spaces. So you definitely want to check them all out. If you like this type of content and you want more from the Awkward Space series, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you have any awkward spaces in your home that you would love for me to address. Definitely share this video and this series with anyone you know looking to design their awkward space. And thank you again to Wayfair for sponsoring this video. Definitely subscribe to my channel and Wayfair's channel to stay up to date with really cool interior design tips. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.